What up guys, how are you all doing? Thank you for tuning back up on the channel here today for another Fortnite video. Today's video, we're going to be talking about what is going to be happening to the cube and what is it going to do to the Fortnite map towards the end of Season 5 and the beginning of Season 6. And it looks like Tilted Towers could be on its way out. we got a ton of information. As you guys know, this cube is moving quite a lot at the moment. And literally, as of yesterday, the cube left us some awesome intel that we're going to be covering in today's video and what it means for the rest of the season. Now, before we jump into today's video, we've got a ton of information to go through here today. You guys are definitely going to want to hear this. Before we get into it, if you guys could do me a huge favour, go down, drop a big fat like on today's video. I know I haven't been uploading as much recently. I've been on holiday and I don't normally prepare videos for while I'm away, which is kind of dumb. But we're back and we've got some awesome videos. So if you could drop me a huge big fat like on today's video, go down and smash that like button. That would be very much appreciated. And if you want to enter my Season 5 Battle Pass giveaway, which you might as well say for Season 6 now, if you want to enter that, drop a like make sure you're subscribing with notifications turned on so you never miss a video as well and make sure you're commenting in the comment section down below season five battle pass and you're entered like i said if you're new to the channel make sure you're subscribing with notifications turned on and follow my instagram up on screen here trust me i'm uploading some fire pictures on there so make sure you check that out and uh yeah without further ado let's talk about what the cube is going to be doing towards the end of this season and what's it all about well, i haven't covered any information about the cube up on the channel so far so let me give you a bit of background so pretty much uh, it all started with the the rift in the sky closing up and it's been zapping the cactuses I think it was in paradise palms and with that it destroyed all the cactuses and then a huge lightning bolt produced the cube since then it's kind of taken a weird route and since then the cube has been on the move zigzagging in a weird kind of pattern uh, we're going to be talking about that and what that means and what kind of direction it's going in and where it's going to end up so if you haven't seen as of yesterday the position of the cube is kind of in a weird location right now um, it is now initiated like a gravity field around it and if you didn't know, once it's moved, it's left behind a rune on the floor. Now, you're probably thinking, what is a rune? Now, if you don't know what the rune's alphabet is, pretty much it's just a ton of, like, geometric shapes that create an alphabet. And as you can see, it's been printed on the floor after being left behind by the cube. And what I'm going to throw up on screen right now is some game files that were mined from the game to do with what the runes mean. And in the files of the game, there are seven runes that are going to be printed on the map. And as of right now, since the cube has entered the map, it's taken four days for it to move before we get our first rune and as you can see there are seven runes that are going to be placed around the map which in total if you do a bit of quick math seven times four uh 28 days total that's how long it's going to take until we see all the runes that are placed on the map in fortnite and that pretty much after the 28 days brings us to the end of the season now obviously there's people in the community that are always leaking stuff from the files of the game and obviously with all the runes being leaked also the images of all the runes got leaked as well so all the runes that are going to be left on the floor we've got images of them right now all seven as you can see up on screen here now what's really interesting over on red Post, I'm going to link it in the description down below, but he, uh, one of the users thought of the idea of putting them all together to try and create a map. And what he did was actually overlay them over Tilted Towers, and as you can see, it aligns perfectly with Tilted Towers. Now, what does this mean? Tilted Towers always seems to be in the firing line at the end of the season, like the Meteor Crash, it was supposed to hit Tilted Towers and whatever. The Rocket, they played with our emotions with it darting down towards Tilted Towers. It didn't actually end up happening. And now with these runes all placed together, it looks like it is covering Tilted Towers. Hours. Does this mean that Tilted Towers is going to get destroyed? We don't know, but it's a possibility. It just seems like at the end of every season, Tilted Towers is just in the firing line. So, I wouldn't get your hopes up, but yes, all the runes mapped out together match perfectly the map of Tilted Towers. But what's weird is that in the files of the game, which I'm going to throw up on screen right now, it suggests that the cube is going to end up move towards a lake. What lake is in Fortnite? Loot Lake. But uh, I found something kind of interesting. Now, if you go to the Viking ship, which you guys know is the new location that was added to the map, there is Norse lettering on the sail. Uh, the two letters stand for the Rune of Renewal, which could relate to the rebirth of Dusty Divot that happened last season. Now, the other rune that you're seeing underneath on the flag is actually the Rune of Transformation, which could be the change of Loot Lake. So, these symbols closely relate to, like, the Viking ship symbols we can see up on screen here. Now, something that I found very, very interesting, on a side note, as you guys know, we got Ragnarok, which is from Viking era, and the word Ragnarok in this alphabet actually stands for a series of events that will define the end of the world which is normally submerged underwater. Very interesting. Now, in the year 2000, 
Epic Games, obviously the creators of Fortnite, licensed a game called Rune. Now, obviously, we have a skin in Fortnite called Ragnarok. The main character in this game, Rune, was also called Ragnarok. Now, in this game that Epic Games actually went on to license, in level 3, you actually go and find an underwater city beneath a massive lake. The same sort of events which are happening with Loot Lake and Fortnite. Now, this is all obviously theory, take it with a pinch of salt, but it's a theory that Epic Games have been known to kind of take ideas from their past games that they've done before. We kind of saw this when the Meteor event happened. That Meteor event actually also happened in a game that they produced ages and ages ago as well. Like, a same sort of event where a Meteor came down, destroyed part of a map, they produced in the game ages ago. So, this game called Rune that they licensed in the year 2000, the main character was called Ragnarok, and in the Rune alphabet, and Ragnarok actually stands for a series of events that will define the end of the world and submerge it underwater. Pretty interesting. Now, as you guys have seen, in the game files, Loot Lake is going to be the ending place, supposedly, for this cube. With the whole, like, rune game that they've produced already, where in level 3, Ragnarok, the main character of the game, he actually explored an underwater city, which was underneath a big lake. Kind of strange. Uh, yeah, they kind of relate hand in hand here. Very, very interesting. Now, in terms of the cube, we've also had a huge leak in terms of a potential Save the World and Battle Royale crossover. So, as you can see on the screen here, also we have like a big, like, new storm cloud which was added to the game, which could be something to do with the cube. It's like a mega storm. Um, that's what it's called. And if it's what it looks like, this could be something to do with the cube. When it gets to its final location, a big storm is going to happen. We're going to have to see. But, uh, no big event is really going to happen with this cube. I'm guessing until the last week of season six just before and um, that's when stuff normally kicks off obviously we had the rocket last season the season before that we had the meteor so we're gonna have like periodic events kind of like subtle things like with the meteors we had little asteroids hitting the map the rocket we had some other things going on um, before the rocket actually took off so expect the cube to do some weird stuff in between now uh, obviously we've got the rooms that are going to be placed around the map as the uh, cube prints them around as it moves so we've got seven more of them to be placed around the map we've only just had one and it's been four days in so 28 day period it looks like this cube's going to be moving over and producing runes all over the map. Which I'm thinking at the end, some people are thinking it's going to be like a map that it's going to produce. Or it could produce something else. It might lead us somewhere. We're going to have to wait and see. If you guys remember at all, last week I actually made a video on talking about how Luke Lake was going to change. I came up with like a cool concept of changing Luke Lake to Luxury Lakes. I don't know whether that's obviously going to be a thing or not. But I threw that out there and now... Found in the game files, there's going to be changes to Loot Lake by the looks of it. If you guys remember last season when the rocket obviously teleported before it took off, one of the places that it teleported was over where the new Viking ship is. Another place where it teleported was also near Paradise Palms. And the last place that it teleported, which hasn't had a change, was Loot Lake. Like, over Loot Lake. If you guys remember, that's where the rocket initially just took off and just went back and we haven't seen it since. So, these other places... Where the rocket teleported have had changes to it, like the Viking area, we've had Paradise Palms, they've both had changes to it, but this last teleporter, where the rocket went through, was Loot Lake, and it hasn't had a change, so I kind of come up with that theory that uh, maybe Loot Lake might be getting a change, and now it looks like a possibility, and over on Twitter, as of literally right now, as I'm making this video, Fortnite just tweeted out where we drop in, and it's like a poll on Twitter, one of them being Lazy Links, one of them being Ruto Row, people are picking, but the whole of the comments on this tweet are suggesting that it means something, like whether they're going to be getting rid of one of these areas in the very, very near future, Lazy Links or Retail Row, uh, I mean we've only just got Lazy Links, Retail Row, it's kind of like an OG spot, never had any changes to it, that's what I brought up in my video the other day, places that haven't had changes to it that could potentially see a change, one of them was Tomato Town, that got a change. L uh, Loot Lake, we haven't seen a change to that. And then, like, the Lonely Lodge, Wailing Woods, Retail Row area side of the map has never had a change at all. So, uh, yeah, people are saying this tweet means something. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you think this tweet means anything or are they just, like, messing around on Twitter? But, uh, yeah, some awesome stuff, some theories in today's video. If you guys found it helpful and uh, you're kind of looking forward to the end of Season 5 because this cube is kind of mad. It's now got an anti-gravity shield around it. It's 
producing prints on the map. Yeah, awesome. If you guys could do me a huge favour, drop a like on today's video. That would be very much appreciated. And if you guys are new to the channel, you haven't already, make sure you're subscribing down below. We're turning that notification bell on as well. That would be awesome. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be keeping you guys up to date on what the cube is doing now. I'm off holiday. I've got time. Yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll catch you guys in my next one. It's been your boy, Max. Have a good day and a peace out.